what's up with Dr. Wizards right here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Packer Ring. Today's episode, make sure you go and check out um, FunkyFigures.com, they're absolutely amazing. Last episode we went ahead and reviewed the Fire Kings from a very, very strong, strong meta deck to a What The Hell Have You Done product. Now, when this thing came out and it got announced, people were hyped, thinking, oh my god, it's a look of the joy, you don't know what you're going to get. And then Konami put down saying, Everybody gets it, and it went from absolutely amazing to absolute trash. It has dropped value for so many cards, especially one of my favourite cards, Zeus. Which I don't really mind, because I wanted many, many copies of Zeus, and me being stupid, I bought two of these, and I won an extra one for, for in the competition. So I got three of them. So, yeah, you get yourself two decks. Uh, one that's based off the XCs, and one's based off the... Um, the um, synchros, but of it all, you'd be shocked on what this deck really consists of. It is god awful. Um, there's no like mixture on what what you need to do for this deck or anything. There's no archetype really. It's just random stuff put into one just so you can learn how to play the game. Is it good for people to start the game? Not really. I think I just think this is just for gimmicks, pretty much. People just don't really care about the about the card game and they just want to get some cards. This is the best way to do it. But to learn this I think is a bit too far fetched. If you want to learn how to play the card game, get yourself three structured decks, enter yourself into a tournament and learn from the best. That's how you should play Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays. Don't do this stupid stuff, it's ridiculous. Um, there you go, so it says player X you get these, player S you get these. Um, you can set these cards aside, face down. So it does, it does teach you a little bit, but in the box as well, it contains a manga which teaches you how to play the game. Still, that is a bit weird and stupid. But anyhow, let's have a look at the Synchro deck. So right from the very start, you get Prime Art, which is a very good Synchro card. And then you have Rampage Smash Tank, another very strong Synchro, but not very good anymore. Coral Dragon, very, very good card. Um, Surgeon's Terrible card. And that's the only ultra rares you get in the deck. That is it. There's no any other holographics. So if you're looking for hollows, this is not the product you, you really want. But there is one card in here that you probably would want, and that is Zeus. But again, you can pay, you can buy Zeus for about a tenner, then paying a tenner for all this lot. Uh, back to the front, Fearless. Galaxy Cycle is really, really good. Supply Squad, Phantom King High Ride, Liberty the Last, White Elephant Gift, really good. Uh, Dark Resonator. Headshot, Car Trooper, a Monarch, Power Mage, Magical Cylinder, Kunai with Chain, Dark Hole, Mask of Darkness, Fisher, uh, Barrier Resonator, another Fearless. Visa Star Frost is a common. A lot, a lot of people want a common version of this to do common charity. Um, the Loop, DD Crow, another good card. Uh, one Time Passport, Return Alive, Car Card D, another good one, Scapegoat. Storm Mirror is another one. Uh, Piper, Backup Rider, Souls of Revealing Light, Allied Justice, Gil Gareth, Green Ojama, weirdly, Reran, Launch of Spider, Spirit of the Harp, Impact Chi, and Sparkman. Why? There's no, like, there's no, like, flow of cards. It's just a load of, ro load of random stuff. From Sparkman to Ojama Green to freaking Resonators to... Flipping mage power? I don't get it. It's a bit stupid in my eyes. But the main deck that a lot of people want is the XYZ deck. Because it has Zeus, the best card in the game, for this for this two-player deck. Um, you got yourself Musketeer, Giga, and Emerald. Pretty much for the XE cards, they were a lot, lot better. Uh, Fierce Tiger, Broker, Star Drawing, Night Beam, Control, Star Charger, which is quite cool. Gaga Magician, Fighting Spirit, um, Barbaros, Swing of Memories, Gyroid, which is weird. Um, Garwell, Needle Ceiling, Book of Moon is really good as well. Mystical Space Typhoon, don't know why. Penguin Soldier, Magician of Faith. Dark Magician Girl, why? XRC Reborn, Crane Crane. Eldritch, why? Just why? Why is Eldritch in here? Cyber Dragon, understandable. Costel, Thousand Knives, White Ninja, Draining Shield, No Entry Trading, Sword Stalker, Yellow Jama, Dark Magician, uh, Lajin, Giant Social Stone, and Queen's Knight. This is weird, man. Absolute tosh. 
don't get me wrong, a common version of Eldritch of the Gold Lord, so yeah, you can do common charity with that deck card, which is quite cool. But what the hell, for the full Ultras though, I cannot complain, but for the rest of the cards, it's terrible, it really is bad. The only cards you'd want from here is of course these three cards. These three, big time, 100%. This is the most expensive card in, the, in this product set, so if you really want it, you just buy this card and then bang, that's it, you've got your bang for your buck. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember people, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers, hopefully you guys get me to that point. But also please check out... Um, funky figures they are amazing people and we are trying our hardest to try and get ourselves some Yu-Gi-Oh products in and also buying it in as well so please if you guys want to pop down and say hello go pop down and say hello I'm always there nearly every single day most of the time except for Sundays so with that being said the people I'm still good to you guys subscribing and I'll see you guys next time cheerio I like getting these, these are nice. I do have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!